Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and on this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Hisense U6H as a basic television without Wi-Fi or anything like that. On the back of it, I have antenna plugged into it, two gaming consoles, so sit back and relax, and let's get started. The first thing you would do is choose your language, and I'll show you guys all the options on this US-based model television. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose English. The next step is you want to go ahead and choose a region, and again, I'll show you all the different regions that are available in this particular television. But I'm going to go ahead and choose United States. Now, there's two different ways you can set up this TV. I've already made a video on how to set it up with Google TV using a Wi-Fi, but what we're going to do is set this TV up as a basic TV without any kind of Wi-Fi. And the options you will get, if you have an antenna plugged in, you can do live TV, or you can use external devices. Now here's a list of the Wi-Fi's, but since we're not going to be using Wi-Fi, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there's an option that says skip. We'll go and press on that. And even though we're not going to use Wi-Fi, you're going to get a bunch of terms and conditions, assuming that you're actually using it on Wi-Fi. Now the next thing we need to do is program the remote control so the Bluetooth works. So all you need to do is press the home and the back button on the remote control for about three seconds, let go and the TV will then connect the Wi-Fi, and then the TV will connect the Bluetooth to the remote automatically. The next step is that you can put in your zip code, but we're gonna go and skip that, but that's up to you if you wanna use that. It's not really gonna really help you unless you actually use uh, the Wi-Fi connection. And as simple as that, your TV is ready to go. At this point, you can go and press on done, but if you'd like to watch the store demo, you can go ahead and press on setup for retail, but let's go ahead and press on done. Now, a few things I wanna show you guys. If you don't hook up Wi-Fi, you still see all these apps down here. If you press and hold them down, it doesn't really do anything except try to connect it. So let's say if I hit on Disney Plus, the application will open up, but you're gonna get a network error until you connect it back to Wi-Fi. The next thing I wanna show you is that I do have the TV tuner hooked up. All you need to do at this point is go ahead and press on the TV icon on remote control or this application. And this is where we scan for channels. And if you have an over the air antenna hooked up, depending where you live at, you may or may not be able to pick up reception and you could try different antennas as well. But one thing I will point out is that this TV has an ATSC tuner 2.0, so it's not ready for the next gen 4K over the air content. Now this process is gonna take about three to five minutes, so just be patient, and when it gets done, it's gonna let you have access to any channels that it found, and I will tell you that some of them may be staticky, depending on how good a reception the antenna that you're using is working. Now I can't show you the video for copyright reasons, but you can see all the different channels, so what I would do is just go through these one by one, and make sure that they're crystal clear because again, some of these can be pixelated. And if you need to delete a channel, just slide over to the right hand side, go down to the bottom where it says edit, and then you have a delete option. So you can go to whatever channel you want and go ahead and press on delete. Now I did tell you I have an Xbox and a PS5 plugged in. If you go over to the inputs, you can see a selection here, but for some reason it finds the PlayStation and it does find that the Xbox connected, but for some reason it's not labeling it. Just in case you have to, all you need to do is just arrow over and then you can uh, use the keyboard on screen and modify it and just write in Xbox or whatever console, DVR, cable box, satellite box that you have connected if it doesn't find it. Another thing I wanna show you guys is that it will load up applications cause it did assume that you're gonna be using Wi-Fi, but let's say if I click on one of these uh, icons here, it'll basically say that it cannot launch the application because there's no internet connection. Now, if you decide that you do want to add internet connection back to the television, go over to this one that says dashboard, then you will go down here to the settings. Under settings, you want to go over to where it shows network and internet. You're going to scan for channels, go ahead and put in the Wi-Fi password, and you're good to go. Plus, you can use an ethernet cable on the back, which has some downsides, like you won't be able to do screen mirroring, stuff like that, generally with uh, the ethernet connection. The last thing I will show you, if you don't wanna use your television this way and you wanna get all the applications all set up, just go into the settings of the television, and then just go to where it says set up Google TV, then press on set up Google TV, and it'll walk you back through all the steps, connecting your Wi-Fi, 
and then you can start using all the applications that this TV has to offer. Next to you.